So far, we have a form ready where we can create galleries and also the form has a basic validation in place. Now, one thing which we haven't talked about is authentication. Our next step is basically to create the basic authentication system and make sure that anyone who is creating a gallery is basically a logged in user and we will catch the user ID in this created by field as well right mm -hmm. so the first step is the migration for the table user but you must be already aware that Laravel comes with a default user table migration which is in this one right so it has an ID name email password remember token and timestamps and practically I don't need to write a new migration I'll use this one what I need to do is create a seeder so that I have two users at least through which we can experiment and make sure that the authentication works so my first task is to create a seeder I'll go to my terminal I'll say php artisan make seeder and I'll do help so yeah basically I can pass the class name to the seeder and I will get a new seeder class so I will do php artisan make seeder and I'll say user table seeder created successfully all right go back here and I have the seeder in place now what I will do is say just a second let me check if I have make that mass assignment fillable email name and password right so I have fillable property so I can quickly say user create sorry, and then pass the array so the first one will be name which will be Amitabh right where is my user model name email so this is my seeder email I'll say reach me at amitabhfry.com password will be hash make say pass I'll create another user so I'm using two classes so I'll just need to make sure I reference them so app user yes this is the one and the second one is for hash so I'll say eliminate support facades and then hash uh, let's go back to terminal let's say php artisan oh I forgot uh, I'll need to reference this class in my database seeder so which is this yeah and comment this so this file will be executed when we do php artisan db seed and it will call every class which is mentioned here so which means the first one and the only one currently will be this class right let's close these two files and run php artisan db seed seed user table let me open up my skillite browser and I will say so now we have two users the next thing is to create our login screen I'll go to my text editor and I'll create a new view file from inside resources views I have a folder called user and login.blade.php right it should extend master ext okay section right so I will copy paste the markup which I have already written and then I will go through the markup and tell you what's what so as you can see it's just you know one jumbotron to have the container then I just open the form with action user dash uh, sorry user slash do login you now I have my CSR token field and there is an email password and the button for login let me quickly uh, go back to my routes file 
and instead of giving up the welcome view what I will do is I will say users slash login sorry dash login instead of the welcome view I will give the user with the users dot login view which we have just created and it's time to check how it's looking so just clear it up so this is the login screen and let me quickly create the other route which is actually to do the login so I'll say route which is a post URL which is user slash do login right now I already have an auth, auth controller inside the auth folder right so I'll what I'll do is I will just reference that so I'll say auth slash auth controller at the rate do login which will be the name of the function right and because we are creating a login so a logout is also mandatory right so we'll say a new URL which is user slash logout uh, this can be a closure because there's nothing much to it so what I'll do is just say auth logout now you can decide not to have a closure and write the actual code inside the controller but that's okay I am for the sake of the demo keeping it simple redirect back to home page once the user is logged out right so next step auth controller inside auth controller I will create a new function which is do login so inside the do login we will have the request object right so we'll say request dollar request quickly add that here now it's time to write our login logic so what I'll do is I'll create a array which is say credentials and I'll pass this array to the authenticate function so first thing which we'll need is the email I would say this will be request input Oops. email that's the name of the input field in my form right and the second one is password request input password all right we will pass it to the auth class attempt function right and pass the credentials variable so sorry what will happen is it will send me a true or a false so I'll say if not this this is the code block I will use the session object and say flash message something went wrong with your credentials this let's keep it to flash underscore error because there will be two different kind of messages one with a green and one with red right so once that is done I will say return redirect back that's as far as the wrong password goes to and then if the user has a correct credential it will say session flash it will be flash underscore message the green one you have logged in this is, this is successfully right and return redirect 
we will redirect him back to not redirect him back but we will redirect him to the list page where we are listing all the galleries right so I need to add two classes here one is the auth so it will be use eliminate support says auth and use eliminate support facades session right so let's quickly review the code before we actually try it out so we have this function it's a post url and inside this we are first creating this array and then we are sending it to auth attempt function if it returns false then we redirect back with the message and if it is correct we take him to the gallery list page let me quickly check if my master blade is showing the errors no it's not so what I'll need to do is actually create the container where I can show the messages the flash message and the flash error alright so I'm again going to copy paste some code let me quickly run through this so we are checking for two flash variables which is flash underscore message and flash underscore error and accordingly we are using the session get to fetch them and we are using the bootstrap alert and alert success slash danger to get the correct color codes right okay so quickly save it and I am logged in successfully I'll I don't have the logout URL I mean link so for now I will manually log out so let's use a slash logout let me keep it copied okay and so this was the one this was one user which we have created and the second one is jhnjohndo.gmail.com password is pass as you can see I'm again able to log in and if I log out try something else for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I'll get the error something went wrong with your credentials right our login is working properly and so quickly what I can do is where I'm saving the gallery which is here I can say quickly auth user ID which will mean now the user ID is going automatically so I'll quickly use eliminate support facades auth alright and let's log in and create a new one gallery by Amitav save it get back to our database gallery okay this is correct but now I need to check with the other user right so I'll say about and let me log into John Doe at gmail.com password is pass let's say gallery by John hit save SQLite and the ninth gallery which is gallery by join has John has the user ID as two because in my users table I am the user ID one and John is user ID two so our basic relations are in place and the login is also working that's about it for this tutorial keep watching the series